all right welcome back guys in this video you will learn photo retouching with me step by step as you follow along you will learn all the techniques i use to convert this photo from this to this it's going to be very interesting so let's get started all right as a subscriber to this channel i am pleased to announce that there is a free gift an action pack which i will give you which is going to actually change the way you retouch any photo inside photoshop the action pack will be a demonstration of every step i'm going to show you right now so i'm going to announce where to get it in a later part of the video keep watching so as you can see there are a lot of bombs on the ledges face which we need to take care of at this stage i don't want to overdo the process so i usually start either with a patch tool or with the spot healing brush tool and for this particular image i think the spot healing brush tool is a tool of choice so come here on the layers panel and press ctrl plus j to duplicate it and let's rename this layer to healing now i always prefer to hide the original background image because if i sample some pixels from here i don't want photoshop to consider the background so switch to the spot healing brush tool and then make sure sample all layers is not checked and then simply paint on these dark spots to remove them if you have them on your particular image i'll just spend some time to get rid of these dark spots as much as i can now the reason i like using the spot healing brush too is that once it removes the gibbet portion it replaces it it softens that particular spot so let's see the before and after of what we have done so this is it these are the bones and on this other layer we cleared everything now come to the healing layer and add one more copy by pressing ctrl plus j now rename the top layer to texture now the next thing we have to do is to change the blending mode of the texture layer from normal to vivid light then let us invert this image by pressing ctrl plus i that's command plus i on the mac and after doing this let's right click here and choose convert to smart object the reason i'm converting the image into a smart object is so that any filter that is applied to it will be applied as a smart filter so i can be able to modify it later on in the video we are going to apply two filters to this particular texture layer so let's go to filter and then choose order and let's apply the high pass filter now for this particular image i figure out a value of 20 is going to work but this value will solely depend on your particular image so depending on the type of image you have you might actually need to increase or reduce the radius the thing to take note here is that always increase or reduce the radius in such a way that you can blend all the colors together as you can see now click ok and like i said a moment ago this high pass filter came in as a smart filter then let's go again to filter and let's add Gaussian blur and for all my retouching work i always consider a radius of 1.5 to work so i'll just click ok and as you can see they get stuck on top of one another here on the layers panel now i'll just click on this up pointing arrow here to hide those filters and then i'll hold the alt key with the texture layer selected i'll come down here while holding the alt key and press on the camera icon to add an inverted mask this mask is going to convert the image back to the way it was after we duplicated this healing layer now the next important thing you have to do is to switch the brush tool on the options bar make sure you are working with a soft round brush opacity of fuel set to 100 although these settings might change depending on your particular image increase the size of the approach and then make sure the dark max is selected you can tell that it is selected because we have this white bounding box around it then before you paint press the z key to establish your default foreground and background color because i want the foreground color here to be white so just paint on the image to clear it up the reason we took some time to heal those dark spots was to make this process simpler now while painting with the brush tool it is always a good thing to play with the opacity because as you can see the opacity value at 100 percent is stronger than an opacity value of maybe 70 percent so with the opacity set to 70 percent i can be able to click here or create just a slight change there but everything will still look nice 
So I'll just spend some time to retouch the image and see you when the whole process is over. Alright, after spending some time to refine the image, I'm going to put the two layers inside one group and compare them. So I'll select the two layers and press Ctrl plus G on the keyboard. Now I'll rename this layer to Fix Image. Now let's enable the background layer and let's see the before and after. So here's how the image looked at the beginning and this is how the image looks right now. Huge difference guys. The good thing about this technique is that it still maintains the hair, it still maintains the eyes, the mouth, the shape, the overall shape of the hair is there. Now you can spend some time after this to add the dimensioning to the face and take the modifications even further. But I think you get my point right now. Now, from the beginning of the video, I mentioned that there was a print gift for you. And that particular gift is an action which I've created, which is going to do this same process for you automatically. So let's start by going to file and choosing revert to send the image back to the way it was. Now if you are a subscriber to this channel, go down on the video description and download the Make Retouching Kit from there. I will leave a link in the video description. Now once you have downloaded your hard drive, go here on Windows and then choose the Actuals panel right here. Now once the actual panel opens up, click on this hamburger icon right here and then you choose Load Actuals. This will take you to your hard drive where you can locate the position or the location where you downloaded those actions and then just choose load to import them inside Photoshop. They will be taken inside this actions panel and you will have a similar folder like this. Once you have this folder, click to open it and then select the Tmade Retouching Kit from here. You can also see that I assigned a shortcut to it, C plus F10. Select this action and click on this play button right here. Once you do that, a message is going to pop up on the screen telling you exactly what to do. And let's take a closer look here on the layers panel as you can see. The background has been hidden and a copy of it has been added and also renamed to healing. That's what I did a moment ago. Now what does the message tell you? It says that if the image has dark spots, press stop, which is this button, you press it and paint to remove them. If there are no dark spots, press continue. The reason I did this is because images are not the same. There is an image that will require just light retouching and there are complex images that will actually require you to do some patching and healing here and there. So at this stage, it is left for you to examine your image and decide whether you need to press continue or press stop. In my case, I need to press stop because I need to remove these dark spots. So I'll press on the stop button and after doing that, the action will automatically switch to the spot healing brush tool with all these settings and you just have to paint. Paint on these bombs to remove them. Now, once you have removed the spots to a certain level, don't overdo it at this stage guys. The high pass filter is going to do everything for you. So once you have finished doing this, simply come here and continue playing the action. Just click on the play button, it will continue from where it stopped. And it is going to take you to another step right now. And let's look on the layers panel. As you can see, it duplicated the healing layer and renamed it to texture, then converted it into a smart object and also changed the blending mode to vivid light as you can see. Now, instead of just applying this value, the action determines that every photograph is different, cameras are different. So at this stage, it is left for you to tell the action what radius your image has, okay? And the way you tell the radius is by reducing the slider down and then gradually increasing it until you actually blur away the dark spots or the textures. And in this particular image, I figure out that a value of 20 will work just fine. In your own image, it might actually be different. So input that value here. Once that is done, press OK to tell the action to go to the next step. You will proceed to the next step 
and then bring the Gaussian blur again. Now it knows that you have to input a custom radius here. So figure it out and put it here. If you drag the radius slider to the right, it will be as if nothing has happened. But the time you begin to reduce it or take it to the left, it begins to add this effect as you can see. So I always decide to leave it at 1.5. So I'll input 1.5 right there and then just click OK to tell the action to go to the next step automatically. Now let's look at what has happened. It has added those two filters and also added an inverted max. Then it has selected the max and selected the brush too. Now the message says paint on the image to fix it. Okay, so I do not actually need to include continue from here because there is only one step you have to do here. So that's why I force you to remain at this particular level. So press stop and whatever tool you have selected will be switched to the brush tool the brush size will be set now simply adjust the opacity of the brush because as you can see it was 23 percent because of our last modification so this value i made it not dynamic with the action so you have to set it manually now with a flow of 100 percent and making sure that the max is selected simply paint on the image like we did earlier on to fix it i'll paint this time more carefully Alright, after completing the painting, simply come here on the actions panel and click on the play up button again. Now Photoshop is going to finalize that action for you, rename it or even close the group. Now let's minimize the actions panel. So as you can see, it was very easy for us to fix this image. Let's see the before and after. So I'll come here on the layers panel and click here to enable the background and hide the fixed image. This is how the image looked before, it was actually terrible, not that bad, but it was not good at all. So let's click to see how it looks now. As you can see, the eyes still look the same, the lips, the nose trees, everything, even the hair, which is very, very useful. Okay, guys? So this is the technique I really wanted to show you. Now, at this stage, you can take things even further. You can add some dimensioning to the face. If you do not know what dimensioning is, I'm going to make future videos about that. So if you are new to the channel, encourage us by subscribing if you subscribe i'll feel motivated to create more content like this so as you can see guys this technique is very useful so what i want you to do is to go to the video description and download the action from there load it inside photoshop and start using this action as a quick way to get started in photo retouching i hope you found this video very helpful and if you did give us a like and subscribe to encourage our channel i'm going to see you in the next one tomorrow good luck